going to talk about the Optometrix uh, 7 software. I'm uh, sitting uh, behind a Mac at the moment. Now, Optometrix runs under OS X, Windows and Linux. And there are some small differences between the uh, different operating systems. But once it's started, it actually doesn't really make much difference which, uh, which platform you use. So here we're on a Mac, as I said. After installation, Oxmetric 7 is in the Applications folder, which you can see on the screen. And then inside Oxmetric 7, there is the two main programs, Oxedit and Oxmetrics. And I'll be starting and talking about Oxmetrics. So I'll double click on this. And obviously, if you do use Windows, it will be installed in the Start menu and it will be in C colon slash program files if you use an English language version of Windows. Um, but here's on applications. I'm going to double click on Oxmetrics to start it up. And then we are faced with the Oxmetrics front end program. Now, Oxmetrics is uh, the main focus of Oxmetrics is econometric and statistical as well as financial modeling. So we do want to build models, estimate models, um, analyze models, analyze data, generate forecasts. There's a lot of different things we can do. Um, but if you've not used it before, this is what you'll see, the empty uh, front end of Oxmetrics. Now there are three types of um, inputs and outputs. We have data. We are doing an empirical modeling, so we do need to load a data file. And then, as part of the modeling process, we get graphical outputs that will be listed under graphics. We'll get text output, and that will be, um, for what I'll be doing now, will come in the results window. Then there are statistical or and econometric modules for estimation, such as GARGE, PCGIF, STEMP, X12, Arima, and I'll talk a bit about this. And the remaining entries here all have to do with the OX programming language, which is the subject of a separate uh, presentation.